Many believe that despite his death, the ghost of Blackbeard the pirate remains, guarding his cursed treasure to this day. Blackbeard, it would teach the pirate all pirates fear. Rich with legends of wealth, peril, and the high seas, the golden age of piracy, which lasted from the late 1600s to the early 1700s, has left an enduring impression on history. One of the most infamous characters to come out of this time period was Blackbeard the Pirate, a name that has come to represent piracy itself. In addition to being documented in history, Blackbeard's legacy is veiled in folklore and paranormal stories. This account delves into Blackbeard's life and the many superstitious ideas that have merged with his mythology. What's he talking about? In the early 18th century, Edward Teach, a pirate better known by his terrifying moniker Blackbeard, plagued the waterways off the eastern coast of the American colonies, as well as the West Indies. He was born in Bristol, England in 1680. He was an intimidating presence due to his massive build, menacing manner, and the dark beard that gave him his moniker. Equipped with an abundance of cannons, he transformed the French slaver Queen Anne's Revenge into a fearsome pirate vessel, making it his flagship. Blackbeard has been associated with supernatural talents in a number of stories and traditions, which have contributed to his image as a formidable pirate. Even though these tales are based more on legend than historical events, they nevertheless greatly add to the aura of mystery surrounding his character. The following are some particular narratives and accounts that have been handed down over the ages. A well-known picture of Blackbeard shows him charging into combat with lit fuses or slow matches tucked under his hair and beard. It was claimed that this gave him a terrifying, almost demonic-looking face covered in smoke, resembling an apparition from the afterlife. This portrayal, which probably had more to do with psychological warfare and intimidation than with any supernatural abilities, improved his reputation. There were rumors circulating that Blackbeard was impervious to physical harm. This was probably because of his overwhelming presence and the fact that he had participated in multiple encounters without losing his life from injuries. The final struggle that resulted in Blackbeard's death appeared to support this myth. According to legend, Blackbeard suffered numerous gunshot wounds and sword cuts before his demise. According to several legends, Blackbeard had the ability to summon storms or control the weather for his benefit. These legends most likely originated from sailors' dread and reverence for the sea's fickle and frequently violent nature, attributing the sea's irrationality to the most feared pirate of the era. Like his life, Blackbeard's loot is the stuff of legends. He allegedly boasted about his buried money, but no significant treasure has ever been discovered. Yeah. I think he just made a deal with the devil. Some legends say he struck a deal with the devil to keep his riches safe, while others say he killed his own crew to hide the whereabouts of his treasure. There is a persistent notion that his stolen wealth is cursed, which has resulted in numerous unsuccessful searches for the treasure. What if there's fire treasure in there? According to some legends, the treasure is so enchanted that only Blackbeard's ghost can find it, sealing the fate of treasure seekers. In November 22, 1718, Blackbeard engaged in his last combat with the British Navy on Ocracoke Island, North Carolina. The British Crown decided to eradicate the pirate threat in the American colonies as a result of a sequence of events that culminated in the war. Blackbeard and his company had blockaded Charleston, South Carolina's harbor in 1718, obstructing local trade. In response, Virginia's governor, Alexander Spotswood, dispatched a British naval force under the command of Lieutenant Robert Maynard to find Blackbeard and either kill him or capture him. Maynard's force comprised two sloops, the Jane and the Ranger, and around 60 men in all. Near Ocracoke Island, they managed to catch up with Blackbeard's vessel, the Adventure. Blackbeard, who was down to around 20 men at the time, fought a bloody struggle with the British. Historical records describe the conflict as violent and bloody. Renowned for his formidable reputation, Blackbeard engaged in brutal combat. He was cut with a sword and received several bullet wounds before passing away from his wounds. According to legend, Blackbeard was slashed 20 times with a sword and shot five times before he was killed. In order to prove Blackbeard's death and to serve as a warning to other pirates, Maynard had the pirate's head severed and hung it from his ship's bowsprit following the battle. After being tossed overboard, Blackbeard's headless body is said to have circled the ship multiple times before plunging to the bottom. With this last conflict, Blackbeard's terror campaign throughout the Caribbean and the American colonies came to an end. Additionally, it was a major win for the British Navy in their fight against piracy in the area. 
Rumor has it that Blackbeard struck a deal with the devil to ensure his eternal life. According to legend, this agreement gave him safety and superhuman abilities. But like other deals with the devil, there was a cost. If Blackbeard has survived, it is now as a cursed undead ghost. According to legend, Blackbeard's ghost haunts the coastal seas where he cruised. The most well-known of these apparitions is purported to take place on Ocracoke Island in North Carolina, the site of Blackbeard's brutal demise in 1718 during his conflict with Royal Navy Lieutenant Robert Maynard. Here, his severed spirit is seen wandering the beaches or floating on the waves in a never-ending quest to find his missing head. Some have claimed to have heard his laughter, or the sound of swords crashing close to where his last combat took place. The eerie tales about Blackbeard have grown to be an essential component of the legend, heightening the mystery and fascination surrounding the notorious pirate. There are various reasons for the superstitious beliefs and tales surrounding Blackbeard. First of all, his intimidating reputation and the air of mystery he promoted served as the fuel for these tales. Second, people were more inclined to believe in paranormal activities because of the superstitious nature of the time he lived in. Ultimately, these stories have developed over time due to the dearth of trustworthy facts regarding Blackbeard's life and demise. The superstitious beliefs that surround Blackbeard are evidence of the power of narrative and of people's infatuation with the unknown. In Blackbeard's day, these stories had a useful function, enhancing his formidable reputation and acting as a psychological weapon against his enemies. They now add richness to the cultural fabric of piracy and lend a romantic if sinister charm to the stories of seafaring outlaws. The mythology surrounding piracy is inextricably linked to Blackbeard's life and the paranormal stories that sprang from him. It is up to each person to decide for himself whether or not these stories of demonic forces, cursed treasure, and haunting apparitions are true. What is still evident is that the name Blackbeard has become a symbol of the enduring human relationship to the enigmatic and otherworldly, transcending the person of Edward Teach. Like the ocean, his reputation is vast and mysterious, and it never fails to captivate the imagination of every new generation that succumbs to the alluring narrative of the pirate.